Hello fellow game makers and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to create sticky notes like this inside of the Unity editor where you can type in a title and a body and then click create note and you have a little note right here. So you can either code along with me or create your own sticky notes and download my template from Gumroad. I will upload a updated version on Gumroad with better styling and also like a delete function and whatever. I will update it there and yeah, so let's get started. Also, if you like my content, maybe consider subscribing and liking this video, it will really help me to make more content and with that being said, let's get started. So first of all, go create and create a new editor folder because everything inside of an editor folder won't be included in builds and that's perfect for development tools. So in the side of the editor folder, we will create a new C# -sharp script. You could, for example, call this sticky note. I'm gonna call this tutorial, and then open the dump inside of Visual Studio. So I can also already tell you which using tags we will need. We will need the systems collections generic using tag, but we won't need the collections unit tag. And of course, as always, we will need the Unity editor using tag because we're going to make a editor script. And also our script should inherit from editor window. So type editor window right here and save it. We will delete the auto generated methods by Unity, but instead make a new function called a, which will be a public static void and I will just call this in it because it will basically initialize our content or our window so we will make a new variable of type tutorial because it's our class that's called tutorial and I will call it window and now we have to type editor window dot get window and we will type type of and then again our class name so tutorial but if you have a look and also it gives an error you can see that we say that it's a tutorial variable but it's a type of editor window so we will have to cast our variable of type of tutorial so now it works and then we can just type window dot show also use this as a method now if we would like to open our this window we will have to run this initialization method so we can just type above the initialization method we can type menu item and then open parentheses and type in the path you would like to have it in. So if I, for example, could write tutorial slash and then give it a name, for example, notes. I like that. So now if we would go back into Unity, we can, will have a new tab up here called tutorial where we can click notes and will it will open up a new window. So that's nice. Now we can start coding. So first of all, we need a on GUI method. And now we can, first of all, we need some user input and we can store this in a variable. So we just make a new variable or actually two variables, one for the title and one for the body of type string. So we'll just make it public, public, string title text or name it however you want and also another public uh, of type or actually call it body text not not of type but just name it like that and now we can set it equal to a text field so type equal so it's equal to the editor gui layout the text field and now we can also already give it a label so it will be shown in front of the text field itself 
So we can just, for example, name it title. Like that. And then as a second argument, we will type the variable it will give, or actually as a param parameter, the text it will show. That's a better. So we will just type the text it will show, and it will be, of course, the the variable, like right here. So we can just copy this inside here. I will do copy and paste this, and we can basically do just the same for the body text. Also type body right here. So one last thing we will need is a button for our that we create our node. And for that we will need a bool, so type public bool. And just call this create node button. And now we can as well set this equal to a button element. But this will this time it will be a bit different. So type of course set it equal to this time just GUI layout dot button. And now you can type in the text it should show. So I'm just gonna type create button. And now in Unity you will already see that we will have our basic layout. And now if you click the button nothing really happens. So next we will do some stuff that happens when we click this button. So the basic thought process behind the node system is that we will have a list of all texts with all titles and bodies and then we will just access in a for loop we will access all titles and bodies uh, at their con corresponding indexes and yeah render them so but now we'll just have to add those elements on a button click so what we need to do is inside of the on gui method we can type a make an if method an if statement and basically we just want to do something if create node button so this variable will be true if the button is getting pressed so we can just access this variable right here but as a bit of troubleshooting we just want to do this if the title text and the body text isn't null so we can just type and title text is unequal to null as well as the same for the body text like that so now if someone would not type a title or a body it wouldn't work because it would be just not nice if we would have a lot of empty nodes so now we actually have to create our list so we can just create a public list of type string because we will store strings and i'm just going to call this no text and set it equal to a new list string like that don't forget the colon and the parentheses i'm sorry so now in the if statement down here we can add our texts into the list so we could just write no text dot add and then first of all the title text as well as the body like that. So what I like to do is also delete the text out of those two text fields and we can just do that by typing title text, not title content, title text equal to null. So like that. So we can just display an empty string. So the last step is to somehow render this all. And we will do this by going through the array, or actually the list, going through the list in a for loop and render the title and the body. So we can always start by making a for loop. And we will do, the problem now is that we can't just use the length of the list because we will always have two elements that correspond to each other that we render at once. 
so we will have to think of half of the array so we can just divide the count by two so we can just write node text dot count divided by two so now we can basically stylize our nodes i will just add a comment right here that you can stylize your nodes right there and i will just try to display the body and the title as well as just a space between them we can do that by type editor gui layout dot label field and then here we can type our label uh, it's the same with the as with the text field up there so we can just type title and then we can access our node text list and now we have to think a second because when we we have to access specific places and when you do the math you will come up that you always have to access the ith element times two I will not explain this, maybe you come up with the solution yourself, but it's like that and it works for me. And uh, if I would explain this right here, it would be a bit too complicated. And right here you will have to access the next one times two. Uh, so just plus one. So basically you will have even numbers right here and odd numbers right here. And to make it a bit nicer, We can make a space right here. So that's basically it. If you would now go into Unity and open our Notes tab, we can again type, for example, a just a little note. So we would like to remember the movement variable. So I will just type title movement, and then we can, for example, give it a ten. That's just an example. And then click, hit the create button. <laughs> Actually, it's called create button. That's funny. Um, and then I misspelled the title, so you would have to fix that. But basically, that's it. And I hope it was kind of useful. You can stylize this how you want. So I hope you learned something new and see you in the next one.